today I'm here with my Cramathon TBR video. I am two days late. Cramathon actually started on the 22nd. It's now the 23rd. By the time you see this video, it's going to be the 24th, but you know, it's fine. We did a lot of working in December from when the sun rose to when the sun went down, so we had no time to film. But we're here now, and without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> If you guys don't know what Cramathon is, it is a readathon that I host along with Ali from Hardback Hoarder, Julia from Julia Sapphire, and Dylan from Dylan is reviewing. And we have seven challenges that we put forth for you guys to try to complete. The first challenge that we have is to read the group book, and our group book for this Cramathon is to read The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. I'm actually going to be listening to it on audiobook because I don't actually own a physical copy, so that's the first challenge. The second challenge is to read a book under 200 pages. So I went on my shelf and all of my books are pretty big. So I found one that I got off of Goodreads like a very, very long time ago and just have not picked up, but it is Strike a Poser by Dylan Edward Asher. And this is apparently about a con artist and that's all I really know about it. It's signed, so that's a fun time, but it is only... 165 pages, so hopefully I can fly through this and actually finish a book this month. We'll see. The next challenge that we have is to read a book that you meant to read in 2018 but never did, and the book I chose for that is Sadie by Courtney Summers. I've heard incredible things about this book. Everybody loves it so much. It's like incredibly hyped on booktube, and I just haven't read it yet. So this is my moment to shine, to read it, to be part of the bandwagon. Hopefully I like it. We'll see. The next challenge that we have is to read the shortest book on your TBR. And that is this one for me. It's like very, very, very short, but I won a giveaway from the author Elizabeth. And um, yeah, it's called Trinity. It's a bunch of short stories. It doesn't have page numbers actually, but it's pretty thin. And I also won her other book of poetry but it's thicker so we're going with the shorter one. The next challenge that we have is to read a book with person of color representation so I chose Love Hate and Other Filters by Samira Ahmed and I've just heard really good things about this as well. I believe that it's Muslim rep and it deals a lot with Islamophobia so I'm very excited. I've heard very good things about it so this is another one that I'm hoping I really like. The next challenge that we chose was to read a book with silver on the cover and so I chose The Caged Queen by Kristen Cicerelli. This is the companion novel to The Last Name Sara which I loved this year so I'm very very excited for this one because like I feel like I'm just gonna like this one as well. And then the final challenge was just to read seven books. So I just picked another random book off of my shelf and I chose The Chalk Man by CJ Tudor and I just wanted to read a thriller because I don't have any thrillers in my pile and your girl really likes thrillers. So this is the one we chose for that. All right guys, so those were the seven books that I chose for Cramathon. Cramathon is taking place December 22nd to the 28th, so you guys can join now if you haven't already and you want to, because, you know, I'm late and I'm a host, so it's perfectly fine if you guys are late too. But let me know down below if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them, or what you guys plan to read for Cramathon, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!